Hey everyone. It's been a little while since I did a tech video. Been uh, busy with life and whatnot. So I'm testing this little uh, Fulham Pony ballast here. Just have the bismuth on it for weighting it down because it doesn't weigh very much. Um, it's a tiny little 18 watt ballast, electronic start. And I have it wired up right now for a uh, low pressure sodium lamp. So you can tell both of the ends are essentially shorted on the linear fluorescent there. This is how you would do a non-cathode uh, non filament type lamp, like a um, uh, cold cathode type thing, where there's no filament heater voltage being applied. Um, since the, the filaments on the ends are essentially a short to um, low frequency, um, there's no reason why you should have to uh, replace them with resistors or such to replicate it. Uh, most ballasts are, are, are hardy enough that they can withstand having um, their filament outputs shorted. Um, if you don't short them, you don't get the full current flow through the tube, though. So it's important to short them. But uh, there's no harm in using an appropriate resistor. Either just measure the resistance of the filament on the tube you're going to be using, or a tube that it was meant for, and apply that as the shorting jumper between. So I have it hooked up to my scope right now, uh, and using a uh, one volt per amp current transformer, current set transformer, and uh, it's working beautifully. The tube is that this is an 18 watt uh, black light bulb uh, meant to replicate the loading of a 18 watt low pressure sodium, and it's as you can tell full brightness. There, there are no uh, dead spots or um, or pulsations or anything. It's running great. It's running nice, right temperatures, ballast is happy. On the scope here, I'm looking at the current transformer output. Uh, you can see it is uh, on a one volt per amp current transformer, I have it set to 100 millivolts per division. And we're getting about 360 milliamps, which is spot on perfect for an 18 watt low pressure sodium. This is exactly what you want. So it fits the 18 watt exactly. Nice sinusoidal shape. So a little bit of uh, distortion there, but nothing, nothing a lamp will care about for sure. Um, at a uh, 10 microsecond division right now, and uh, I put it to five for better resolution, and ran the math on it, and uh, you're looking at uh, 30,303 hertz. Now, granted, that's just me using the chart on the. Uh, on the scope screen, so it's going to be off by, you know, a reasonable degree. But 30 kilohertz, you know, that's not bad. So this ballast should be perfectly suitable. Thanks for watching.